So I've got two main folders that I'm working with uh, for this movie unfinished business uh, with uh, consisting of extras. Uh, this is the main folder consisting of the video with sound and subtitles and that. This one here, these are titles only. So while they're videos, you can see it's uh, only text. Okay, there's no sound or subtitles or anything to go with it. Although there are some, t there are subtitles embedded. Um, why I don't know because they don't even show up. So I want this, the title track, to play before the actual video track. So we're going to drag that over. And I'm going to disable all of these. Like I said, I don't want any of the subtitle tracks. Uh, they're actually non-existent. It doesn't make any sense. But I do want to leave this main audio track here in the first subtitle track, which is going to be uh, English in the next file that we're going to add. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and we're going to choose append files. I found this working better than add files as additional parts. So pen files, and I'm going to go back to that main folder and we're going to grab that main video here and we're going to open that up and it you can see it brings it all in. Now these here I've already determined in that second file that these are foreign language. Uh, they just weren't named. So we're going to turn those all off and all I care about here is the main soundtrack and the um, English uh, subtitle. So you can see that when I click on the main track here that I can get in here and I can change this and modify it, do whatever I want. So let's call this Digital Dolby uh, 5.1. I already did uh, media, media Info to find out what that track actually was. And if I click on the little subtrack here, which is actually the secondary track, I guess, I can't modify that. Same thing over here. I can modify this uh, track here and I don't want it to play automatically the subtitles. I'll choose those manually if I happen to be in the mood for subtitles. But you can see down here I can't change that. So you've got to have the, the main uh, video, the main clip, you've got to have those tracks actually enabled. Um, and so what we're do here, we're all set to go. I think I've got everything the way I want it. And so we'll go ahead and do Start Muxin, and we'll go over here to Job Queue. Now this one's going to go pretty fast. Um, it's just a small file. We're already at uh, what 70% now, and so we'll let that finish up. And as soon as that finishes, you know this will tell us that this ran OK. And it should there we go. Completed OK. So let's switch back to our folder and it threw in our deleted scenes because that's where the main file had started. That's how I've got my system set up. So now if I go ahead and run this, there's the title, plays with no sound. And now we've got sound for the actual video here, the secondary uh, clip, if you will. If I right click and I'll, my subtitle you can see is turned off, so we'll turn it on. And if I go ahead and check out the audio track, you can see hey. that it's the name of the track right there. Right. And there we can see that the audio and video was synced. We'll start talking in a second. I saw you on television this morning. And the subtitles Running. are synced with it. Just wanted to so say. There you go. Pretty easy.